hey you guys and happy new year i know i have not recorded a video in so long honestly it's no excuse i just been living life just been going through my pregnancy as easy as i can and just you know just getting things in order but i definitely wanted to start out the new year right as far as getting back on my uploads which i feel like i have like I, I feel like it's all it always comes to a time where I say that because it's really like no organization in my life so really of course making videos will kind of be on the back burner because that's not my source of income so just to clear that out the way but right now I have to run some errands and my first stop is to get Starbucks let me show y'all this line right quick hold on so you see that yeah so i have quite a ways to go until i can place my order but this video is pretty much just gonna be like a chit chat and drive slash sit with me because i just wanted to give you all an update on um you know my life and as far as the plans for 2021 yay finally we made it out of 2020 so yeah so once i get my drink then I can park and sit with you guys, okay? Hey, how you doing? Good, I'm doing good. Oh. Thank you, can I have a straw also please? Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. All right. Time to put my seatbelt on. Which I hate. I hate putting my seatbelt on now because my belly is so freaking huge that it's just a task. Oh, Lord Jesus. Y'all, this is why I don't go nowhere because it's too much. It's too much nowadays, okay? I'm sorry. I don't see how people, you know, I'm not even going to say it. Forget it. Because <laughs> it can be offensive to some people. Ah! Okay. I'm going to go. Oh. Y'all, I can't record and, and drive at the same time. Listen, my mind can only do but so much. Anyway, I'm gonna come back when I get to my location. Okay, you guys, I made it to my destination and my drink is already gone. <laughs> but, um, where do I even wanna start? Okay, let's start with the pregnancy. So right now my pregnancy is going like good well okay it's going healthy i'll say that my pregnancy is going healthy um there has been no issues as far as the babies everything is okay with the babies the last time i went to the doctor which was about three weeks ago i did have an ultrasound they told me that the girl is still breech both of them are well it's like they're like facing their both she said they're like in a bunk bed so both of their heads are going one way they're laying they're both laying like this on top of each other but as of yesterday i really feel like that they changed positions because like people ask me how do you know which baby is moving and i wondered that too before i got you know before they actually start moving but the thing is you know where they're both laying so anytime you feel a movement there it's like you know which one it is because it's not close together so like the girl she's all the way down there and then the boy he's up so you know it's like i know whenever i'm feeling some movement who it is and plus he moves so much he just moves so much so as far as like the you know them being fine and everything like that yes they're fine there's no issues going on with that how i've been feeling though as far as like just the pregnancy in general you guys it has been a lot i will say that um you know i try i really try not to complain because it's like 
I know I try not to complain but it's kind of hard because it's just like it's a lot for me I was just telling my friend the other day like when I was pregnant before I was so young and I really didn't have like a life then like I didn't get to experience my life so it's like now you know I be out here traveling and going to the gym and I'm grown you know I'm on my own I can do whatever I want I have my own money you know I don't have to ask anybody for anything so to get pregnant and then be pregnant with twins at that and then not only that we're in a pandemic it really like hit me because it's just like like even today even to get dressed to get dressed it took like all of my energy to the point where i ain't even want to go nowhere after that but i know i needed to get out the house so that's why i just was like i don't care how tired i get i'm still gonna you know go you know it, it just it, it takes a lot as far as like wanting to put on clothes because it's really really hard you guys like the girl sits so low that she causes me to have so much pressure to the point where when I'm whenever I'm trying to put on pants anything underwear is just a task rolling over in the bed is a task I have my, my pelvis is so sore constantly that anytime I go walk for a long period of time that night I'm done for because it's just like it's it's already sore so like just walking makes it worse so I'm to the point now where I'm just over it I'm really over it and it's like this is the first time where I have felt like this because honestly I don't even want to have a baby shower which I'm not having like a traditional baby shower I'm actually having it to wear like I guess like a drive-by baby shower where people can come get a to-go plate and they just leave food like that's just that's all I'm doing because I'm like I don't have time like I'm just I'm, I'm just over it in the middle of, in the middle of all of that we're actually moving as well so today is January what's today the ninth I think today is January the 9th so we have to be out by January the 31st and it's just like the place that we're moving to is not going to be ready until the end of february so in that time frame it's just you know it's just a lot on my plate as far as having to do a lot and it's like the end of my pregnancy you know but a good thing you know i have a man by my side and family that is just so helpful but it's just like i'm the type of person where i'm just like I just want to do everything on my own and this really opened my eyes that I can't do everything on my own like I have to ask for help I have to depend on other people to help me and that has really like been a shock like to my system because I've always been that type of person that just want to do it on my own and I can't do this on my own I cannot okay and you know on top of all of that I'm still dealing with the anxiety of just the thought of bringing two more babies into this world at the same time honey like I just I just I don't know like it's just it's it's just the type of person I am is just like uh I don't even be wanting nobody to say nothing to me about it unless it's something positive because it's just like i don't want you to put me in more of a bigger funk that i'm already in that's why when i found out that i was having twins i didn't even tell really anybody for real because it just was like i didn't want anybody to say anything to send me over the edge when i'm already thinking in my head like how am i gonna do this <laughs> how am i gonna do this but like now whenever i tell people that i'm pregnant with twins you know we have to go through the same sp spiel every single time oh my goodness you're having twins what are you having oh boy and a girl oh my goodness that's so perfect uh i wanted twins i'm a twin like uh, okay <laughs> I just think like that's why sometimes people don't tell other people what's going on in their lives because it's like you don't like people will say stuff and they don't realize how it can affect you um so yeah so that's where I'm at with that but 
the pregnancy is almost over and another thing is like people do ask me like when is my due date so like if people ask me in person i'm not gonna be rude and be like none of your business but like when people ask me on social media i don't answer i don't know why i'm like this you guys i just don't like when people ask me my due date especially on social media for other people to see i don't answer because it's just like it's really some real live lurkers out there like it's people some lurkers and that that they just trying to keep up with me and i just don't want nobody to keep up with me until i'm ready you know what i'm saying like if, if i have which i know like i have people out there that's trying to keep up with me and i you know that i'm not friends with or i'm not i don't socialize with but i know they're trying to keep up with me so it's just like you're not gonna know my business until i want you to know my business so that's why when people ask me stuff like that i just don't answer so it's like for anybody out there that has asked me what their names are gonna be or when they're due and i haven't answered that's why so uh, that's just that on that and other news for 2021 i'm just like i'm ready that 2020 I, i'm i'm happy that 2020 is over um i was really blessed in 2020 to not be in the predicament where i ran into financial issues or the whole pandemic really affected me in a major way i think the most major way it affected me is because of my children like they're not able to go to school so i had to deal with them like working from home while i'm working from home which is really a task but other than that you know compared to what other people have had to go through i can't complain i have been blessed you know my man is blessed like we're just blessed all around so i can't complain at all um also it's just like with 2021 i'm just hoping that everything can go back to normal like the the life that we normally you know we are used to but i know it's gonna take some time and you know i know everybody had to get their jokes out as far as when the capitol um building got when all the people just went into the capitol building and just effed it up you know i know everybody just wanted to make jokes about it and say that you know 2021 is pretty much going to be like the twin of 2020 but it's just like it's all in how you look at it like in your pers you, from your perspective it's just all in how you look at it you guys like it's just don't allow it to be like 2020 because i feel like 2020 was a year for a lot of us you know even though i was still blessed I think the main thing in 2020 was fun for me that was devastating. Well, I'm not going to say devastating. Well, yeah, devastating was finding out I was having twins. Like, it, it just was like, I just was like, what in the world is going on? So, it's just, you know, I, I'm really like trying to change my mind for 2021 and just know that things are going to be better. Um, as far as my channel i know i came into youtube wanting to do beauty 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 but you guys like honestly that's not me anymore like you know as you can see i have makeup on so it's not like i don't like makeup anymore i do but i can't tell you the last time that i have wore eyeshadow i literally do the same makeup look you know so it's just like I got tired of making videos about makeup when really my life consists of so many other things. So really like what my channel is go is is turning into or is going to be about now is more lifestyle because now you know I'm I already was a mom but it's like honestly I feel like this is going to sound crazy but I feel like this is like my first pregnancy even though it's not but it's just because I'm like a grown ass adult now like I'm an adult adult and it's like I really have somebody by my side that is a man and it's like I'm really like you know it's not like I'm leaning on my mom or my parents to help me so it's just like that's why I feel like this is just so different and I haven't been pregnant in almost seven years so it's just different but it's just like um 
you know that's what my channel is gonna be about now as far as like lifestyle I'm not saying that you'll never see me do my makeup again I'm not saying that at all but it's going to be more lifestyle I have a lot of things going on in my life right now of course I'm not gonna speak on it until I'm ready for everybody to know what I have going on in my life but you know y'all will know soon enough what I have going on in my life um so it's just it's just things are really changing for me and honestly I feel like that this has been an eye-opener because let me tell y'all when you think about YouTube and you think about a lot of the beauty influencers to me majority of them don't have kids they are single or you know they're not married and they're just living their life in their high-rise by themselves you know things like that they're just living the life and I just feel like being into beauty is just not my calling because it's so much more to me than that like I'm a mother I like home decor I'm very creative it's just a lot that I like and it's just like limiting myself to beauty or being a beauty influencer or striving to be a beauty influencer is just was not my calling and I really feel like that guy is pushing me into another direction and you know I do want to be a role model for other moms out there to show them that you can still be a mom and still look nice and still dress up and still care about your appearance and still take trips and just still do things with your life it doesn't have to be all about your kids like it just doesn't and I actually had to tell someone that because they were saying when you have kids it's all about your kids it's not about you anymore and that is not true now when you have kids it's still about you of course your kids will trump you, you know they're gonna they're gonna be the ones that matter the most but you still matter because guess what if you're not right they're not gonna be right and I'm not saying you have to be right as far as your appearance but of course your appearance can make you feel better but even if you're not right mentally even if you're not right physically you know it's just it, it will affect your kids also so just I want to be a role model for mothers out there that you can still do it and I will be that role model I just have to stay on the right path and right now I'm just trying to find my purpose in life um, because I know that I have a bigger purpose than where I'm currently at in life I'm just I'm just you know God is just opening my eyes and allowing me to find it so that's that so if you you know as you see less and less beauty just know that's why also i'm not gonna be doing any moving vlogs honestly because you guys like right now it's already a struggle with me trying to move being pregnant okay so like being pregnant and like dealing with my kids in their virtual learning it's just too much it's just too much like it's just too much so literally i have less than a month to get out of this apartment so it's like i'm really really trying to hurry up and get everything done um one thing i also want to say because i've been running it, this has been on my mind a lot lately and i just want to say as you make your goals and your dreams for 2021 just know that you can go as far as your mind can take you or will take you or as far as you allow your mind to take you and I say this because it's so many things that I want out of life and you know it's it's something big that I want this year and it's so crazy because I was telling my man about it today and I was telling him I was like I was scared you guys oh this pregnancy be making me cry at the drop of a dime okay I'm not gonna cry because I'm not gonna make up mess up my makeup okay when I was telling him what I wanted to do, I was even scared to tell him what I wanted to do because I knew it would sound crazy coming out my mouth. Only because I know where I'm at right now in life. So when I said it, I just was like, it, it, the words did not want to come out my mouth because I'm like, I'm going to sound so crazy saying this. But even, even when I said it to him, 
he made a face like <laughs> and you know because it was such a crazy goal that i wanted to set for myself for this year and you know i just i just feel like when you dream about things that you want out of life or think about things that you want out of life it's like if you limit yourself if you limit your mind that's how far you will go like i'm even to the point where i go into stores that i know i cannot afford the stuff in that store just because i want to see what's out there you know like for example it's this um couch from restoration restoration hardware called the cloud sofa you guys that sofa is not cheap like literally it's like six thousand seven thousand dollars for like a sectional but it looks so comfortable and i told my mom that i wanted to go to that store just to just to look you know at their stuff even though i know their stuff is expensive because i want to see what's out there because i have in my mind this is how i think in my mind i may not have the funds right now to where i can buy stuff like that but i am so it's like when i talk to people and you know they limit their minds you know it really saddens me because it's like when you limit your mind you are limiting yourself because even if you can't afford it right now just have in your mind that it's gonna happen have in your mind that it's gonna happen and you are just you you're just living it out right now as far as to get to that point but having your mind that you already like i already know it's gonna happen i know it's gonna happen i can't tell you when i can't tell you the day the hour but i know it's gonna happen and that's what i have in my mind and that's why i achieve things even when people look at me and be like how can she do this or how can she do that or she having you know she about to have two more kids or this that and the third and it's like that's why I don't pay attention to what people think about me because I know no matter what I have going on in my life, as long as I don't limit my mind, I can do whatever I want to do, whatever I want to do. So don't think that, you know, even if you are the person where you're having kids or you're not in a situation financially right now where you can't do what you want to do, don't think that that's just going to stop you from doing what you want to do. Have the type of mind that you are going to get what you want regardless. Even if you don't know how, just know it's going to happen. That's it. That is it. You know, and it's like last night I was talking to my friend and I was telling her about a specific car that I want and you know she was saying that car is so expensive which she wasn't saying it like you can't get it but you know she likes that car also so she was saying that car is so expensive and she also said she was like well i guess that car is just gonna stay on the lot and i'm gonna just get something else but it's like i told her you have to stop thinking like that because guess what i don't care how much that car is i'm going to get it and when i get that car I'm gonna get that car and I am going to be in a place where, you know, I'm not even gonna say all that. Just know, I'm gonna get that car. Okay, so I don't know how, it's just, you guys, I just wish everybody had that type of mind to where they stop limiting their self. Like, stop limiting yourself. Stop. Stop. Okay? Stop. So really that's all that i have to say as far as updating you guys on what's going on in my life you all will see the journey unfold and i'm just so excited to be in this point in my life you know even though right now i'm miserable because i'm pregnant and i'm just like over it but mentally god is really working on my mind and i'm just happy about it i really am and it's just like i even get emotional when i talk about things that i want out of life because it's just like i'm just so happy i'm happy because i know it's gonna happen and it hasn't even happened yet and i just it's like i can't wait to be able to look back on something and be like man like i knew that this was gonna happen and it's really 
happening so that's all I want to say you guys I don't want to talk your head off too much but I promise 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 that I am going to be consistent from now on so my new uploading schedule is going to be Thursdays and Sundays those days are the easiest for me they're not too close together and it's just like that's just the easiest for me right now so Thursdays and Sundays right now I have not decided on an actual upload time because it's just like <laughs> I don't know if I can commit to a time, but Thursdays and Sundays, that's going to be my upload schedule, you guys, and I hope everyone is having a good year so far. If you're not, you still have time to turn it around, boo-boo, and yeah, that's it, so don't forget to subscribe. I need to go in this store, you guys. I'm sitting here at the outlets, and it's just like everybody just walking past me, and I need to get in here and get out of here, okay? It's a lot of people out here. But luckily, I'm part in the expectant mothers, so I don't have that much far of a walk. So I love you guys as always, and I hope I was able to motivate somebody in this video. So I'll see you all in my Thursday upload. Bye.